Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to turn on and off conditional formatting rules by using a drop list. So in this worksheet I have a list which shows a date, a region, a manager, a customer and sales. And I created a conditional formatting rule that highlights the records based upon a condition in the region and a condition in the manager. These conditions in cell A2 and cell C2 can be changed by using a drop list. I also have the top four rows frozen, so I can scroll down and see the other records as well. I have a count ifs function in cell H2, which tells me how many records meet my conditions. But in some situations, I want to be able to turn on and off the conditional formatting rule without deleting it. Then I created a drop list for the conditional formatting and I can turn it off and now I can turn it back on. Now let's start creating our project from ground up in Excel. So I go to the start worksheet and in the start worksheet I want to start by creating a switch which says on and off. This drop list is a data validation list which requires going to the data tab of the ribbon and then clicking on data validation. I want to create a list, so I select from the first drop list under allow, I select list and I'll be typing on comma off. I hit OK and I would have created my drop list. Let's set it to on for now. I also want to create a count ifs function that counts the number of records that should be returned based upon the two conditions in cell A2 and cell C2. So I start by typing equal count ifs, and then I hit tab. What's your first criteria range? I select the first cell under region, shift control down arrow, and then I want to jump back to the top without locking. So I hit control backspace, and then I hit comma, What's your condition in this range? My condition is whatever comes from the drop list in cell A2. Then I hit comma. My second criteria range will be the manager. So I select the first manager and then I hit shift control down arrow. And then I want to jump back to the top without locking, control backspace. I hit comma and then I click on cell C2, the second drop list. So when I close the bracket, now I get the number of records that should be highlighted based upon the two conditions, the North and Lisa. Another thing, I want to be able to scroll down without having to hide the column headers. So I'm going to freeze the top four rows. And to do that, I select cell A5, the one just below the row that I want to freeze. And then I go to the View tab of the ribbon, and on the View tab, I click on Freeze Panes, Freeze Panes. Now I can scroll down without hiding my column headers. Now let's start creating our conditional formatting rule. I have two conditions. I have a condition in the region, and I have a condition in the manager. But I also have one more condition coming from the third drop list, whether I want to turn on or off, the conditional formatting rule. So let's create our conditional formatting rule. We start by selecting the range. I selected the top row and then I hit shift control down arrow. I want to jump back to the top control backspace and then I go to the home tab of the ribbon. On the home tab, I click on the down arrow for conditional formatting. I want to create a new rule, so I click on new rule. In the new formatting rule dialog box, I select use a formula and here I'll be creating my formula. My formula will be created from the perspective of the active cell, keeping in mind that the rule that I'll be creating from the point of view of this active cell will travel in memory for each one of the selected cells in the entire range. So I start by typing an equal sign. And because I have more than one condition, and I want all the conditions to be met simultaneously, then I'll be typing AND. I want to put all my conditions, all my logical tests, in an AND function. Test number one, I'm asking, from the perspective of the active cell, is the region in cell B5, and I want to lock the column but not the row, 
So I hit F4 twice, and I ask, is it equal to cell A2? That's my first condition. And then come from the point of view of the active cell. I'm wondering, is the name of the manager in the same row? And I lock it to the column by hitting F4 twice. Is it equal to the name of the manager selected from the drop list? And that's my second condition. My last condition is to turn on the conditional formatting for the end function to return it true. I want it to return it true when my switch is set to on. When I select on for my switch, I want the conditional formatting rule to pop up. So I'm asking is the value in cell E2 equal and in double quotes I type on. I close the double quotation and I close the bracket. Now I want to select the formatting, so I click on Format. I just want to change the fill color, so I click on the Fill tab and I'll be selecting this orange color and then I hit OK. I hit another OK and here is my conditional formatting rule. Now I can scroll down and see the different rules. Let's change from North and Lisa. Let's select Robert. And now I have more records for Robert. I have 21 records. My count ifs function and conditional formatting are working. What if I change from the drop list and instead of on, I turn it off? Then I don't see the conditional formatting rule. And I was able to create a drop list that controls conditional formatting. In my original model, I have a switch. This is a picture that I'm putting on top of the same cell. It's a lookup picture. So when I select on, I see the switch turned on and green. And when I change to off, I see the switch changing to off. So I had two pictures that I brought based upon my selection from the drop list. Should you wish to learn how I created this, I explained it in a previous tutorial. And you will find the link in the description below.